I feel like people really don't understand just how terrifying the ocean is. But anyways, meet the bobbit worm. At first glance, you may think the devil misplaced his genitals and they sank to the bottom of the ocean. However, I regret to inform you that this 10 foot long toe biter is unfortunately an animal all on its own. And ladies, with the majority of this note rope selfie strongly resembling every single guy inside of your DMs, it's easy to mistake its true form. That's because much like your average uncut male, 95% of this animal is hiding underneath. Like the extra skin, its burrow is its semi-permanent home and it lines its home in mucus in order to keep it strong. With less of a brain than my second head and the lack of eyes that make it blind, you may be wondering how this animal maintains its sadistic personality. Evolution only granted this animal one small nerve cluster to function known as a ganglion. The only function it handed this animal was being able to drag its prey straight through the nether portal. Yes, evolution only granted this animal the ability to know how to be a terrifying murder noodle. Ambushing and stealing fish faster than the barracuda consumed Nemo's mom, you can imagine this animal's extremely dangerous to human toes as well. Not that it'd be life-threatening, but I would much prefer it if this OP waterworm with a thing for feet would stay away from my beans. And with this animal not changing much in the last 20 million years, you can imagine it's pretty much the perfect predator. If you've gotten anything from this, I recommend buying a pair of water shoes. That's all I got. Peace.